Hey everyone, Mia B here back with another video and this video is gonna be on advice for female boot camp. As you know, Paris Island. I did a video on extra boot camp, but this video is gonna be on advice to how to get through boot camp. So I'll start with saying we all know when you first get there, there's gonna be like them yelling straight in your face. Do not be weak. Me, my experience when I went there, um, that first day I was like in my like laughing my ass off in my head because like it was just like the videos and so many girls were scared and in my I grew up and my mom is that strict. My family is loud and so like the yelling didn't bother me. After all of those days, the days that you like when you finally meet your drill instructors, so many girls cried that night. And for some reason, I do not know. Please do not be one of those girls that cry that first day. Especially do not cry when they tell you to cry. They, like that first day of your first free time, they're going to tell you to cry. Do not cry. That's how they pick out the week. Do not be one of those girls. If in my opinion, if you want to cry during boot camp, you wait until you go to church on Sunday or you cry after likes where nobody knows because you're going to be that person that cried during boot camp. I only cried in boot camp twice. And one of them was when my first person was graduating. And the second one, the second time that I cried was like after I got hurt. I cried when I got my EGA, so if that's what it means. Because I, I wasn't able to do the hike back. In the boot camp, the re how you get the boot camp is like, if you're loud and you're fast and you're motivated, they don't mess with you. Then sometimes they may mess with you just to push more motivation out of you so you can, like, influence the girls around you. Like, so if I suggest you be like a guide, a squad leader, a scribe to get recognized. Because at the end of graduation, whoever are, whoever is the guide, is gonna be an undergrad and all the squad leaders if you're not already a contract PFC you will become a contract PFC sorry my phone fell <laughs> but anyways um, you become a contract PFC and then and when you're at church you will be with the guys so do not be one of those girls that are like, oh, he's cute, oh, he's this. Don't try to sneak and talk to them on the way to the bathroom or when they walk by. Or, like, be some girls, like, switch platoons like I did after I got dropped. When I went to church, I sat with my original platoon, not the one I was dropped with. Just don't get caught, I'll say. Some of the people that are there do not mind it. But if you if they have on tan camis and you, well, desert camis, and you have on woodlands, there's like obviously you're going to be picked out that you do not belong with that like platoon and then another thing is do what you're told like have like me I was scared of heights and then I also was afraid to float on my back because I feel that is unsafe me looking up to my senior so much just as her just with her walking past the top of the pool I passed phone call like literally just that simple and then with the repair tower once again she was at the bottom so the only way i had to get off of it was to jump to her so that was my way off the repair tower i did the gas chamber twice nope three times because i did it once when i got dropped and i did it twice as um with the person because i ran out the first time <laughs> do not run out because they will slam you well not actually slam you but they will grab you try not to be one of those girls like i was what what else during free time, I suggest you do your hair. And then this when you have your time to write and get your uniform and stuff ready. So take advantage of that time. In the shower, please make sure you wash all your major body parts. Because a lot of girls just went in there, washed their hair, and got out. Well, if you could wash your hair. Like a day that we could. But it kind of depends. And then get used to it. You're going to get really hairy like really hairy everybody is so do not mind that please put on deodorant uh, and during free time because you do not want to be one of those girls that stinks for no reason at all i suggest like um for boot camp me because some of the when you go to the classrooms and stuff there'll be a lot of places that don't have head tissue and so i had my mom to send me panty liners 
Um, so I wore panties on it every day because I hate it. I hate if my panties were wet. Like, that's just nasty as hell. I don't care where you at. But a lot of times you be rushing and stuff. They don't, you either don't have head tissue at all or they just rush so much that they don't even let you wipe. So I suggest get to have, you can't bring them with you, but if, you, if your parents like, even like mail them to you, they won't take them from you. So I suggest once you get there, tell your parents to like mail you panty liners. And then also if you, depending on your senior, if you have like my type of hair and you need different hair products that the PX there doesn't have or the senior doesn't have, um, your mom, they sometimes will let you keep what your mom sends you. But if it's something like expensive, they'll be like, no, but you, you can't, if you didn't send enough for the whole platoon, you can't use it. So, something simple like jam or something, they should let you keep. And like, um, for black girls, I suggest you tell your parents to like, send you black rubber bands for your braids and um, black bike pins if they don't have them already. If you have blonde hair, same difference, brown hair ties. Um, what else? During team week, you are with the boys, so once again, do not be one of those girls. And it's pretty much the boot, like boot camp situation. Just do what you're told. Be fast and be loud, and you should be fine. But um, since this is all is a short video, MCT, do not be a hoe. Do not be a hoe. I'm just going to throw that at the end of this video. Like, do not be a hoe. It's literally going to be maybe 10 to 15 girls for 100 dudes. Do not be that girl. Because, like, a lot of girls, the night before MCT and everybody share a hotel room, if you are born a girl, you're going to go in the same room. So not, do not be the girl that you just met this dude. Do not even know his first name or where he's from. And try to have sex. Or have sex. Or give oral. Any of that. I, know, I don't care what it is. Like, do not be the girl. Because you will be remembered as that, like, for your whole military career. Because all the girls that did that, like, um, what else? To this day, when I look at them, no matter what they do good or what they do bad, I'd be like... That's the girl right there that had sex with old dude, or this like you automatically assume is assume nasty to me. I like I don't care who you are, whether one night stand or whatever. You can do that. But then when you hit the fleet, do not be that girl that have sex with all the corporals and the sergeants just because you think you're gonna get your way. No, you're gonna be that girl in the squadron because all of them gonna go through you within the first six months to the year of you being in the fleet, and then you're nothing. I'm just saying, like, do you do not want to be that girl at the end of the day? But anyways, like, comment, subscribe, share my video if you want to have any more information on the Marine Corps or boot camp or MCT. Um, comment down below, check out all my social medias, and I will get back to you. Thank you for watching.